Not all realtors are created equal. Today, we're gonna dig into 11 things your realtor should be doing for you as a client. Hi everyone, I'm Bryn Cook with Hearthstone Real Estate here in Eugene, Oregon. On this channel, I talk all about the Eugene area and give you some real estate tips along the way. Maybe you've decided to purchase your first home and you're in the market for a real estate agent. Or perhaps you've been working with your agent for some months now and you're wondering if they're doing everything they should be. Today, we're gonna to talk through the 11 things that your agent should be doing for you when you're looking to buy or sell your home. Number one, they should be educating you on the real estate market. It's super important that your realtor understands and knows the current market of the place you're living and looking to buy or sell your home. They should be able to let you know about your specific area and what the median sales price is. How fast are homes selling in your area? Are they selling for above asking or are you able to get a deal right now? Your realtor should be tracking the market on a daily basis and have a firm understanding of where things currently are. And they should be able to convey that information to you directly. Number two, they should help you find a suitable property. Now, this is a weird one because with all of the third party apps out there right now, like Zillow and Redfin, more buyers are actually finding their homes than ever before. So as a real estate agent, we don't always have a secret stash of properties available to show you. At the very least, your agent should be putting you on a home search from their website or internet search engine, and they should be reviewing those properties for and with you on a regular basis. They should get to know specifically what you're looking for to purchase, what your taste levels are, what areas of town you wanna to be in, and they should be keeping their eyes peeled for things that are maybe just outside your criteria, just to make sure that there's something that you're not missing and you're able to get the full picture of what's available out there. But honestly, finding that new home is more of a team effort than ever before. Number three, providing a comparative market analysis or CMA. Now this is required for sure when you are selling your home, but it's also nice to have one pulled when you are purchasing a home as well. That way you can get a real feel of what the comparable homes are in that neighborhood, not only to make your offer, but to make sure that if your offer gets accepted, that everything keeps rolling smoothly, especially with the appraisal. Now, your agent probably won't pull a full CMA when you're going to make your offer, but they will at least pull a summary just to make sure that the listing price is in the right range for you and you're not gonna be overpaying for that property. Number four, negotiating on your behalf. It's important that your agent is very comfortable negotiating for you. They're the ones that are representing you and your best interest when you're purchasing or selling. Make sure that they're assertive enough and they actually stick to their guns and don't cave at every turning point. You wanna make sure that they are working to get you the best price and the best terms for your new home. Number five, they are there to handle all of the paperwork. That's the luxury of having a realtor working for you. They know all of the contracts and disclosures that need to be done and they should be handling things in a timely manner. It's important that they're detail oriented enough to stay on top of all of the different paperwork that's required for your purchase. Number six, providing referrals. Your real estate agent should have an arsenal of different vendors that they can refer you to. They should have various lenders, inspectors, roofers, contractors, and most things home related in order to refer you to, not only during the sale, but afterwards as well. Number seven, scheduling and coordinating showings. Scheduling showings can be tough depending on whether the home is currently occupied by the owner. Working around everyone's schedules can take some time, and it's important that the agent that you're working with is on top of it every step of the way. When a home comes on the market that you're interested in, they need to be able to jump on it right away and get that showing scheduled. Number eight, providing guidance on home inspections. The due diligence process of purchasing a home is super important. The realtor that you're working with should attend the inspection with you and ask questions that you may not know to ask. They need to make sure that everything looks good for you and that you're comfortable moving forward with your purchase. Number nine, ensuring a smooth closing process. 
There's a lot of different moving parts of purchasing and selling a home. Everything from working with the lender to the other agent to the other party, escrow. The agent that you're working with needs to have good people skills in order to help move through that closing process smoothly. You want to make sure that they're following up with everyone and making sure that everyone is rowing in the right direction. Number 10, providing support after the transaction is done. You don't want a real estate agent who disappears as soon as the deal closes. That's not a good sign. Do they stay in touch with you? Stuff is going to happen. Not every home is perfect. So after you move in, you should be able to reach your real estate agent for any kind of help and support that you need after the fact. And finally, number 11, upholding ethical standards. We as realtors are bound to the ethical standards of doing what's best for our clients and making sure that we are working in your best interest. You shouldn't have to question that about your agent. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I'd love to hear from you. You can call, text, or leave a comment down below. I work hard to stay connected. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me for my next video. Thanks so much for watching.